Oh, Hollywood Forever is getting ready for a huge party. It's the uh, 25th annual Dia de los Muertos event. The celebration is coming up October 26. And joining me now is a spokesperson, Angie Jimenez. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. So you're kind of getting back to the original because you all kind of took a little hiatus from what the event used to be like. We started off, um, it was a full day event, 9 to midnight, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. to midnight. And during the pandemic, of course, we didn't have it that one year mm -hmm. in 2020. However, we did come back um, in 2021 and we created a two-part event. We had Dia de Muertos and Noches de Muertos. Mm -hmm. um, we had to follow, uh, follow state guidelines yeah. and county health guidelines. So now this is the first year that we go back to the regular 9 a.m. to midnight. Yeah, so what can people expect? You've got a lot of stages, a lot of fun. Well, it is one of the largest, if not the largest, celebration in the U.S., Dia de los Muertos uh, event in the U.S. So we do have four stages. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned earlier, it is a 25th annual, so we expect a lot of the people that came in to probably to the first events to mm -hmm. come back. Um, our headliner this year is Pedro Fernandez, who is a, a singer of ran Musica Ranchera Mexicana, oh. and Los Lobos, who is, um, I'm, I don't know if yes. any Chicano here in LA doesn't know Los Lobos, yes. but um, that is a big deal for us because this tradition would become, it's not only a, a Mexican tradition, it's mm -hmm. something that has been embraced now by every Latino and every culture here in the city mm -hmm. of Los Angeles and throughout the state. We do have a wonderful children's stage, which is going to be open from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. And that is something that was uh, especially crafted two years ago, actually, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. for the children in, that come with their families. Yes, and it is always amazing to see people get dressed up in the, the painting, and it's just so intricate. Um, do you have to do that or can you just show you, up? You don't, you don't have to come and dress as a Katrina, mm -hmm. or, but most people that come to the event do come dressed in the full Katrina um, wear and there is an altar contest and mm -hmm. there is a Katrina contest. So oh. we do have judges walking around mm -hmm. um, trying to identify some of the best um, Katrinas. We don't like uh -huh. to call them costumes, but um, because it is, again, a celebration yes. of life and an homage to our loved ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have close to 100 altar installations. Wow. I am the director for the altar program, so we have families that come in and build these beautiful monuments in honor of their loved ones. Mm -hmm. And um, that is what you expect to see from the moment you walk in, if you look to the right, to the left, you just there's just beauty everywhere. Yeah, it really is um, such a beautiful looking uh, festival and just so much of a celebration. And really, you know, when you think Day of the Dead, you're thinking, oh, this is, you know, more of a dark, but it's just so bright and vibrant, which is, is wonderful to see. It is. It's a, it's a Mexican tradition, again, um, that really celebrates life mm -hmm. uh, or celebrates um, our loved ones' memories. And this is what it, we believe that our loved ones' spirits come back to celebrate with us. So we create these ofrendas, altars, these monuments where we place everything that you know they loved while they were here on earth mm -hmm. and you have the time to celebrate with them through yes. dance music and delicious food yes you can't leave out the food it is a mm -hmm. great event for the whole family thank you so much for joining us and again the dia de las muertes event is october 26 at hollywood forever cemetery and you can find more information by just going to our website kconnews.com and click scene on tv